President Trump says the search to replace retiring Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy is on, and Democrats are already pushing back and arguing that any decision should be put off until after midterm elections. KPIX 5 reporter Jackie Ward breaks down some of the fallout and introduces us to potential nominees for Kennedy's replacements. President Trump made it clear at a rally in North Dakota Wednesday night that his next Supreme Court nominee will have an impact on the court for a long time to come. We have to pick one that's going to be there for 40 years, 45 years. The president will pick from a list of 25 candidates to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy based on a list that the White House released last November. Those names include Utah Senator Mike Lee, Brett Kavanaugh, a former Kennedy clerk who currently sits as a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for Washington, D.C., and Amy Coney Barrett, a former Notre Dame professor who served as a clerk for the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. Minority leader Nancy Pelosi said the stakes of Kennedy's departure could not be higher. Republicans now have the opportunity to erase a generation of progress for women's rights, LGBTQ rights, civil rights, workers' rights, and health care. Our Republican colleagues in the Senate should follow the rule they set in 2016 not to consider a Supreme Court justice in an election year. Democrats still angry that Republicans blocked President Obama's Supreme Court nominee before the 2016 election on the grounds that voters should have a say want the same deal now. Senator Dianne Feinstein and other top Democrats are calling for something they've dubbed the McConnell standard. She tweeted, quote, Four months away from an election, there should be no consideration of a Supreme Court nominee until the American people have a say. Leader McConnell set that standard when he denied Judge Garland a hearing for nearly a year, and the Senate should follow the McConnell standard now. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says this situation is much different. We're right in the middle of this president's very first term. To my knowledge, nobody on either side has ever suggested before yesterday that the Senate should only process Supreme Court nominations in odd numbered years. President Trump says the Senate will vote on Kennedy's replacement this fall. In the newsroom, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.